to say we tried our best Who am I to say we kept ignoring all the promises Who am I to say there's nothing left Who am I to look down Everything looks better through that ABS. Henry! <laughs> He's like, I don't care, I wanna go in the ocean! <laughs> no! Oh my god! <laughs> Henry! Yeah, you got some good fuel going on. <laughs> uh, I got two ounces in there. <laughs> Rahini, right. this is dinner for you. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ensalada. <laughs> he is. He is good. <laughs> I'm so psyched for food. I didn't know it was gonna be like this beautiful. But nothing I can say or do will make it come undone. So even though I hate the thought of leaving you, I hope you come to terms and have it in your heart to end it all. You better off alone. Sincerely yours. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> lean and I go, don't lean! Like, I like, pulled him back. I was like, grabbed his shoulders and I was like, be in the middle of the boat, please. Like, <laughs> well, it's funny because it's like, in that situation, I'm like, I've been on cat in canoe. I wish I could be sorry for the things that caused you harm. But nothing I can say or do will make it come undone. So even I though I hate the thought Yeah, I went earlier today. We, we baked like four of the at four o'clock. The John Wayne Marina. A boat go by? Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. okay. Oh. 
win. It's going good. Welcome to private property. From where? From there. All the way over there. Yeah, probably like four miles. Maybe. Nice. Nice. The B side of the Bui Duck song. The Bui Duck song in Japanese. There's a cabby. Yeah, it's off there. I'm trying to catch him. He's right there. Oh, I don't know. What? Oh. Okay, pinches Oh, off. Oh my gosh. You're a squirrely little guy. Oh. Bye. Hello everybody. It is Saturday now. We got here on Thursday. I haven't really vlogged this whole time besides just getting random beautiful clips of what we've been doing. But um, I am alone in the cabin right now, which has been really nice. I just took a nap. <laughs> um, everybody is hiking right now and I just was really tired, I didn't really sleep that, get that much sleep last night, and I decided, I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna stay here, I'm just gonna read and journal and kind of hang out with Henry, which sounds really nice to me. We did a hike yesterday, and I just kinda wanted to chill this morning, so that's what I'm doing, and yeah, I wanted to update you on how this whole trip has been so far. I'm oh, sleepy. <sighs> The cabin's been really, really nice so far. We have just been hanging out, having a lot of good food, having a lot of good drinks. Um, yesterday, which is the first like full day we were here, we went out on the canoes, and that was really fun. We were out for a couple hours and like uh, canoed over to this little private beach area and just hung out for a little bit. That was really fun. And then we came back and had lunch, and actually really cool thing happened we found this lost dog so maggie which is sage's stepmom was on a run the first day we got here two days ago and the owners of the missing dog like were on the road looking for the dog and was like hey we lost our dog we just brought him home from the humane society like 15 minutes ago and he ran away like if you see him he's spotted this is where we live in case you find him maggie's like okay okay like i'll keep my eye out didn't really think i like didn't think we were gonna find the dog necessarily and then yesterday i was eating i had just taken my first bite of my lunch and then i look out and the spotted dog is playing outside with henry hi Amy. and so um we all go out and like bring kibble and treats and stuff and he's the sweetest little angel he's like he was really scared and he was really hungry and just was such a sweetheart and i like instantly bonded with him and just wanted to keep him forever <laughs> but obviously we didn't but we gave him some kibble and just got him feeling a little more comfortable got him to let us put like a leash on him and then we drove him back to the owner's house and they were so happy and surprised that we found him and he just like i swear i connect with him like i love animals so much and he just was so sweet and special and i'll put in this video of us just having the best time in the back seat yes you're gonna be back with your people he just was covering me in kisses and i was he was totally comfortable like he laid in my lap and it was just such a sweetheart so really hope he has a great life his name's bear and i miss him already i've been thinking about him a lot um yeah so that was really cool that was a like happy moment you know like you got to bring you got to reunite a dog with his owners and bring him home so that was great but um then after lunch we went on a hike like a five mile hike um around here which was really nice we got to bring henry and he had so much fun he was in front the whole time like leading the pack and he's doing really good like he started getting he'd go up a little bit and then he'd wait and turn around and wait for us to catch up and then he'd run up and then he'd wait so he was doing really good and then he's been loving going in the water he's never been in the ocean before this trip and he was just swimming like we'd throw balls in the ocean and he'd go fetch and bring it back and he was just loving it so he's been having an amazing trip he's conked out right now because he's fucking exhausted like we've been doing so much and he's been having so many fun adventures um so yeah that's been good but 
Um, Sage actually got some food poisoning, we think, last night because he's been eating, they've been eating a lot of shellfish and seafood and he was not doing well last night. So poor baby, I was trying to like help him and he was just miserable. So we ended up going to, he ended up going to sleep at like 7.30 p.m. and slept until seven this morning. Um, but yeah, that was a bummer. I felt really bad. He's never, he never gets sick. He never complains about a stomach ache or anything. Like I feel like I always have stomach aches or headaches or something, but he never does. So it was just really sad that I felt really bad that he didn't feel good. I instantly turned into the like, like, oh, let me take care of you, baby. Like I was bringing him hot water with a lemon and bringing him like hot washcloths for his head. And I'm like, you need to get under the covers and bundling him all up. And it was just, I felt so bad, but he's okay now. The cabin's really nice. And I just kind of wanted to hang out. I don't know. Like I'm all for doing adventurous fun things on trips, vacations, but I also like to just kind of like soak in where I'm, where I am and kind of hang out. And we haven't really done that yet. So I wanted to just chill and I was really tired actually. So needed to take a nap, wanted to relax. And yeah, Henry and I have just been napping and chilling. And I think I'm gonna make some lunch now. So yeah, that's the update. And there's a lot of good thrift stores and antique stores around here I saw when we were driving in. And so I want to maybe try to go to those later once um, they get back. So yeah, that's that. But I will say, you guys know I've been getting into manifestation. It's become a meme <laughs> how much I talk about it. But Sage was like, he was kind of joking me. He's like, hey, can you put in a, cause they were putting out crab pots. They all eat seafood um, besides me. And they were putting out some crab pots. And he's like, hey, can you put in a good order? Like, so we get some good crabs that we can actually keep that are like big, whatever, can you put in an order? So I was like, okay. So I was like trying to manifest it, like picture it, do the whole, all the steps to manifest. And then, uh, when they pulled the crab pot up, they had two humongous male crabs, which is the kind they could keep. They were huge, and it was, he said it was the biggest crabs he's like caught in a really long time, Sage's dad. And they were delicious, and everyone was so happy, and I was like, yay. Um, so that was great. And then they put the crab pot out again, and I didn't do any manifestation. I'm like, let's just see. Like, maybe it was just, it's just a good spot right now. They put it out again, and they didn't get any crabs that time, not even one, like not any that they couldn't keep, nothing went in there at all. I'm not saying I have magical powers, <laughs> but I don't know, I thought it was kind of cool. I'm like, hmm. And I also, when we were canoeing, I was like really trying to manifest a seal coming up by us and one did. So feeling good about that. <laughs> it's just fun, I mean, I don't know, it's good practice. Um, yeah, so that's the update. I feel a lot better now that I got to chill for a little bit. Like, I definitely love being around people, but I also really like my like recharging time being by myself. So this was very nice. Have some alone time in the cabin. Uh, probably gonna vacuum, tidy up a little. That's the update. This place is really cool though. I, you just, there's so many hidden places in Washington you would never know was here. Also, I have this huge pimple that really hurts and it won't it's just been stuck so that sucks but whatever you put me on and said i was your favorite <laughs>
We just got home and it feels very good to be home. I got a few things thrifting um, today, this morning, and I wanted to show you guys. I got them uh, in Squim. So I went to the Goodwill and I got this really cute like mirror tray um, for $4.99 and it's gold and it has some cool, um, let's see if it'll focus, some really cool details right here. So yeah, here I am. I look crazy, I'm so sweaty, but yeah, I like this. And then I got this little bag for makeup and it was only $1.99. And it's why I wanted to get this one is because it's waterproof so I can just kind of wash it out because I always spill my makeup or something ends up spilling. And I actually just had it happen where it ruined my whole makeup bag and stained it and got all over everything. So having a waterproof one would be really nice and I liked the flower pattern on I thought it was cute and then I got this top it's um green stripes it's from Tommy Hilfiger originally and I think it'd be really cute to tie it like um so it'll be kind of a crop shirt with shorts I feel like it's very summery and cute and this was four dollars and then I got this just because I love the colors and I feel like it's very Kind of like a trendier thing, even though it's old. Um, it's just this sweater and it has um, this like watermelon kind of stripe. And I thought it'd be really cute. And if it doesn't look good as a, like like this, then I'll probably crop it. Um, yeah, and it was $4. And then I got this basket um, because I think I'm going to be doing a yurt makeover for Sage's mom's yurt. And I wanted to find something to put firewood in that was cute. So yeah, and this was... Um, hi Blue, this was $5.99, so that is my petite thrift haul. Hey buddy, I know you're mad at us for leaving, I'm sorry. Sorry buddy.